Good morning, and welcome back to IA Network News Morning Report. I'm your host, Steve Cromaldi. And now, our top stories. Imagine Aviation returns for its third and final day. During the first half of today, subject matter experts will discuss benefits of innovation disruption, NASA capabilities, partnerships, and technology life cycles that will assist in revolutionizing aviation by transforming our airspace. We'll explore cutting edge quiet supersonic research with NASA's X-59, a collaboration with the Lockheed Martin Skunk Works team. Together, they're solving one of the most persistent challenges of supersonic flight, the sonic boom. The X-59 project will collect community response data on the acceptability of a quiet sonic boom generated by the unique design of the aircraft. The data will help NASA provide regulators with the information necessary to establish an acceptable commercial supersonic noise standard to lift the ban on commercial supersonic travel over land. This breakthrough will open the door to an entirely new global market for aircraft manufacturers, enabling passengers to travel anywhere in the world and half the time it takes today. In other news, NASA's beloved aeronautics flying squirrel Orville is still at large. Overnight, Orville was spotted by several individuals in Silicon Valley, California. Orville was captured on NASA security footage at the Ames Research Center, Moffett Field, California, inside the Vertical Motion Simulator, or VMS. The VMS complex is an important national resource that supports many of the country's most sophisticated aerospace R&D programs. Its motion base has the largest vertical displacement of any simulator in the world, allowing the VMS to provide the highest level of motion fidelity available in the simulation community. He was also spotted at the Chabot Space and Science Center in nearby Oakland, California, which serves as the official visitor center for NASA Ames. IA Network News continues to monitor the YouTube chat and our tip lines for any information. And with that, we'll take you back to Imagine Aviation for full coverage of this third and final day.